Are you a book buddy? Yes! I am too. My name is Barb and I love books. Do you love books? Yes! Then we are so in the right place today. So Herman and I are going to share a book with you today, but we're not going to tell you what the book is yet. You guys are going to have to help me figure it out. Are you ready? Yes! Okay. So your first clue is actually under your sit upon. So lift up a corner, find it, see if you can get it. Yes! Okay. Yellow button, yellow button. Hold it up. Fabulous. Did you get it? You got your shake up? Okay. So everybody has, what is this? A button. A button. Okay, hang on to your thought. We're going to put all the clues together to figure it out. So hang on to this one, okay? It's going to use this a little bit down the road. And here's your second clue. We have this material here. Okay, what color is it? Green. It's green. You want to hold it? You want to look at it? Okay. And what does it have on it? It kind of looks like a shirt. Do you see the little lines on it? Yeah. Right. It looks like a tablecloth. A little bit. Does anybody know what that kind of material is actually called? Um, I think it's cloth. Cloth? Well, that? what do you think? Overalls? You're getting close. Oh! Put oh, it all I know, together. I know, I know. Do you know? What are we going to read? Yes! Corduroy! Uh, corduroy! We are going to read Corduroy. Did you know that that's why his name is Corduroy? Because that's what his overalls is made, are made out of. Corduroy. Isn't that cool? I know. So, because our story today is going to be corduroy. Hang on to your buttons because when I read hey. the story, what you're going to do is you're going to take your button and hold it up. So, whenever I say button, so let's practice. Mm, corduroy's button. Yes! Fabulous. Okay. Are we ready? Do we have our stuffies? Yeah. Let's see them. You know what? Because life is just better with a stuffy, yeah. right? Yeah. I know. So, before we read though, we have to kind of bring our listening skills to order. So, what do we use to listen? What do we use? Yes. Eyesight. Good. So we're going to look at our eyes. Everybody show me your eyeballs. Right like this. Give them to me. Give them to me, Dad. Show me them. Good. <laughs> Good. And then well, I kind of gave it away. Let me see. What do we use? Listening ears. Good. So let's find those ears. Did everybody bring their ears? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. No. So okay. So we have our ears. We have our eyes. And Aurora, what were you going to say? Mouth nose. Brilliant. You know what we say sometimes? We say we're going to zipper the lippers, okay? Because it's really important, right? If we're going to pay attention to use this and this and probably not this, unless it's an appropriate time to share, right? Okay. Are we ready for Corduroy by Don Freeman? You have your button ready? Yes. Okay. So, Stories and Pictures by Don Freeman. So that means that he wrote the book, he's the author, but he's also the illustrator, the artist. Corduroy is a bear who once lived in a toy department of a big store. Day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for someone to come along and take him home. The store was always filled with shoppers, buying all sorts of things, but no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. The one morning, a little girl stopped and looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes, looking in my eyes. Yes! Oh, Mommy, she said. Look, there's the bear I've always wanted. The very bear I've always wanted. Not today, dear, her mother sighed. I spent too much already. Besides, he doesn't look new. He's lost the button, yes, <laughs> to one of his shoulder straps. Now, Lisa's mother sighed. What does a sigh sound like? Show me a sigh. <sighs> yeah, sometimes we do that when we're a little tired or, I don't know, maybe we're just kind of done, right? Corduroy watched them sadly as they walked away. I didn't know I'd lost a button. button. Show it to me, he said to himself. Tonight, I'll go and see if I can find it. Late that evening, when all the shoppers had gone and the doors were shut and locked, Corduroy climbed, climbed carefully. Mm, I can say that. Say it with me. Climb. Climbed carefully. Yeah. There we go. Climbed carefully down from his shelf and began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. button. Suddenly, he felt the floor moving under him. Quite by accident, he had stepped onto an escalator and up he went. Could this be a mountain, he wondered. I think I've always wanted to climb a mountain. Is that a mountain? No. no. He's just a little bear. He doesn't know. He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor, and there, before his eyes, was an amazing sight. Tables and chairs and lamps and sofas and rows and rows of beds. 
This must be a palace, Corduroy gasped. I've always wanted to live in a palace. Is that a palace? No. no. But who doesn't know? Palace. He wandered around. What's a palace? Yeah. Like a castle? Real fancy place that royalty live in? It's not that, is it? It's like, a department store. Like my tent. He wandered around admiring the furniture. This must be a bed, he said. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed. And up he crawled onto a large, thick mattress. Is it a bed? No. no. It's yeah. a bed. Yes, it's a bed. He got this one right. <laughs> All at once he saw something small and round. Why, here's my button, button he cried. And he tried to pick it up. But like all the other buttons on the mattress, it was tied down tight. He yanked and pulled with both paws until pop, off came the button. button. And off the mattress, corduroy toppled. Can you make its pop sound? Pop, 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 pop. good. Bang, into a tall floor lamp. Over, it fell with a crash. Oh. In there. I know, ouch, good thing he stopped, right? Yeah. Corduroy didn't know it, but there was someone else awake in the store. The night watchman was going his rounds on the floor above, and when he heard the crash, he came dashing down the escalator. Now, who in the world did that, he exclaimed. Somebody must be hiding around here. This is my favorite picture in the whole book. He flashed his light under and over the sofas and beds until he came to the biggest bed of all, and there he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up from under the cover. Mm -hmm. Are your ears fuzzy? Mm -hmm. Oh, phew, thank goodness. He's, he's Hello, he's he said. Fuzzy. How did you get upstairs? The watchman tucked Corduroy under his arm and carried him down the escalator and set him on the shelf in the toy department with the other animals and dolls. I think they're going to take a little nap. It's nighttime. Corduroy was just waking up when the first customer came into the store in the morning. And there, looking at him with wide, warm smile. Can you show me a wide, warm smile? Mm. You know what's really cool about a smile? When you give one, guess what? You usually get one back. That's a pretty cool thing. And it goes and goes and goes. It keeps and going. Goes. And it was the same little girl he'd seen only the day before. I'm Lisa, she said, and you're going to be my very own bear. Last night, I counted what I've saved in my piggy bank, and my mother said I could bring you home. Shall I put him in a box for you? The sales lady asked. Oh, no, thank you, Lisa answered, and she carried Corduroy home in her arms. She ran all the way up four flights of stairs into her family's apartment and straight to her own room. Corduroy blinked. Can you blink? Blink, blink. Wink is one. Blink, I think, is two. There was a chair and a chest of drawers, and alongside a girl-sized bed stood a little bed just the right size for him. The room was small, nothing like the enormous palace in the department store. This must be home, he said. I know I've always wanted a home. Is that her home? Yes. yes. Lisa sat down with Corduroy on her lap and began to sew a... Button, show it to me. Got it? Good. On to his overalls. I like you the way you are, she said, but you'll be more comfortable with your shoulder strap fastened. You must be a friend, said Corduroy. I've always wanted a friend. Me too, said Lisa, and gave him a big hug. Can you hug your stuffy? Awesome. Yes. Oh. Because we know, right? Life is better than a stuffy. That's what that material is. It's called corduroy. So, a couple things. One, I want to hear all about your story. And I want to hear your thoughts and comments. So, you can like us, send me an email, write me a letter, draw me a picture of your stuffy. And that would be so much fun because I want to hear from you guys all the time. And I want you to like us. And I want you to continue to subscribe to Barb's Book Buddies. But there's one last thing I have to do. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a trick. And you can try this at home, too. If you don't have a button, you can do it with a quarter. Here we go. Let's hope I get this right. Ta-da! I know! Pretty amazing. Do you oh, want to try it? It's here. It disappears. Are you ready? OK, let's hope I can do this twice. ba -do! You give it a try. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining us today. I would love to hear your comments, so comment below 
and you can send us an email, you can draw me a picture, you can write me a letter. Remember to subscribe to Barb's Book Buddies and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Hey, are you a book buddy? Ah!